Hello guys, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use Facebook login into our Flutter application and retrieve some basic informations like profile picture, name, and etc. So let's see the demo how it works and then we will jump to the code how to implement them step by step from scratch and everything you need to know. So this is the demo how it works by clicking this login button. Suppose this is a Facebook login button. We will be redirected into the Facebook login page where here our app icon will be shown and here the app name. So I will provide my Facebook, it should be the real Facebook ID and password. Now we can click on continue and in here we will have our Facebook name and Facebook profile picture. So in this video, we will learn all of them step by step and we will also learn how to configure this Facebook developers application from scratch. We can activate this one and everything from scratch. So without talking too much, let's get starting with the coding and see how we can implement that. Hello guys, welcome back. So now let's get started and see how we can add Facebook login into our Flutter application. So first you have to come and uh, configure Firebase with your Flutter project which is a required process and then come to the authentication, come to the Facebook, enable this one and uh, you won't have this app ID and secret and uh, you have to find these ones. So go to the Facebook developers.facebook.com, click on my apps and then create app, uh, choose the type of your app. I will create a business integration, then continue. Then provide a name for your app. I will log in underscore demo. And then create app. So once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. You can see you have your app ID in here, uh, which we have to copy this one and uh, go to our Firebase, paste it in here, and now we require app secret, which you can go to the basic, and from here click show, and type your Facebook password. After typing your Facebook password correctly, you will get an app secret, which you can copy this and come to the Firebase and paste it in here. Down below you have a link, which you have to copy again, and then go back in here, save these changes, go to the dashboard, Down here, click on Facebook login, click on setup, and then in here from your platform, in this video we will work with Android, so I will choose Android, then you don't have to download this one, and you also don't have to do this one, but it's your choice if you do copy this one and this one into your app level build.gradle but I won't do that it will work without them so in here you have to go ahead into your project Android manifest copy your package name paste it in here and again paste it with dot main activity at the end save this And then continue. Now we have to create a key hash which is required in here. So the steps are mentioned here in macOS and Windows. So I'm in Windows. Uh, first I have to go here and download this open SSL for Windows. I will leave the link for this one in the description. You can download the latest one from here. After downloading it, you can extract it anywhere that you want. I already extracted in my desktop here. So after that, you can come and copy the whole thing from here. 
copy the code, go to your command prompt, paste it in here, and then there are some modifications you have to do. First is uh, in here just provide change it with your username and in here path to the open SSL library slash bin. I can go in here and copy the path, go to the CMD, delete until the bin. I think it's not working like that. So we can remove all the way to the bin and then paste the path slash bin slash open SSL. If you go to the bin in here, you will have this open SSL. So we will use that. Again in here, you have to do the same thing. You've copied the same path. Oh. Paste it in here and press enter. It will ask for a password, you can give Android as a password. Then it will generate you this key. Just copy this key and go to the browser. Down below here, paste it. Click save. And continue. So this is the one which you may require or not will launch from Android notifications, but I don't need it, just save it next so now we have to go to our app res values string dot xml file which we don't have that inside the values we don't have a strings dot xml so we can go ahead and click here strings dot xml and paste these ones i will just paste this one because we don't have uh, strings.xml uh, these lines are just for xml codes and inside that i have pasted the same thing which is provided in there now we have to copy our id and paste it instead of this guy and also instead of this guy be careful that the next one is having fb at the first one and in here you have to provide your app name which is login underscore demo for me. You might wonder where I got this code. Ah, I just got it from this package in here which we will use for Facebook login. I got it from readme of this one. So once you have done that then you have to come and uh, copy this permission code into your... You can save this and uh, paste the permission in here. And then we can copy this guy, go down below after the activity, but inside the application tag, paste it and save our code. Then come down, we can go next. So again, next, next. These are the steps for the native code, which is which will be Android, uh, Kotlin or Java. We don't require them because we will use the package. So now we are done from here, we can go to the settings of this Facebook login and in here you can go to your Firebase, copy this link and the valid OAuth redirect URIs, enter. Okay, once you have added this link in here, you can go ahead and click on save changes and then again come to the settings and basics so in here you have to provide a privacy policy url and terms of services for your app because without that it will not allow you to activate this development you must provide a valid privacy policy in order to take your app live so for that i have a website which i will leave in the description where you can create a free privacy policy for your facebook i just found it in google somewhere so in here you can come and uh, free privacy policy generator and then go ahead continue with the questions that it has. For my case I already did create a privacy policy for Facebook which is here. I will copy this one and paste it in here. And then I will save the changes. Use this package name. 
now it should work fine you can switch the mood to live and it will be activated now we can access this one through the application and log in into our Facebook and access our Facebook data so if you don't have this button in here which will switch into development and live mode you can go ahead into the app review request you will have two options in here you can go to the requests and click on request permission or feature then yours will be different in here which will which you will have a public profile and email as active and the rest will be required to request so come down at the end you will have an option to delete application click on that delete uh, and this option in here be careful click on that delete and then provide your Facebook uh, password and then confirm it and then you will have these three options and also this button activated for you so now we are ready to get use of this application into our flutter application so we will use this package to provide the Facebook login for our application we already did these steps by configuring our uh, Facebook application out there so we will come to the example and copy the example which is provided in here so I will copy the login function from here and go to our application main now we'll create the scaffold very quick and app bar so inside my app bar I want to have a button where by clicking of that button I will be able to log in using my Facebook and retrieve my data from Facebook let me do that very quick So on press of this button, I will just go and copy the guy which I got it from there. Then I will include the library. Now I will also make this on press of this button and a sync function. And everything will be fine. Then I have to copy this one as well. So this is just a demo. We just want to see how it works. That's why I'm just doing it very quick. So let me save this and on press of this button, we will log in through the Facebook. And this is the permission that we, we are giving in here. So after that, once our user is logged in, then we will get its token. Using that token, we will provide, we will print these informations into our console, which is token user ID expiration of this login session permissions and the other things so let's run our application into our device and see how it performs till now okay our application is up and running let's go ahead and click on this login button in here now we should be able to log in using our facebook okay we are here with our facebook you can see our app name is is uh, showing in here and this is our app icon you can also change that icon using uh, by going in here into our settings basic and we can provide an icon here and it will appear in here so you can see here we have successfully logged in and now it says continue as pool this is the name of my facebook if i click on continue then we will be redirected into our application back and here in the console we should have our token user id expired date permissions we have only public profile and email permission decline permissions so now let me do something to uh, retrieve my uh, profile picture from my account from my facebook id and also retrieve my name how can i do that is very much simple Okay, now we will go ahead and uh, retrieve our profile picture and uh, Facebook name from this access token. If you go to the, this uh, package, read me, down below you will find these ones, which will give you access on how to retrieve your information from your Facebook using token. 
so this is a graph API from Facebook which will give us access to retrieve our information using uh, by providing the fields that we require and giving the access token and then it will return us a map of information where we will be able to uh, use those information into our application so in here we don't have the HTTP we have to go and search for HTTP package for flutter then go here install into our pubspec yaml save it then we can go to the readme copy this package paste it in here now we should be fine we also don't have this json which is right now i think json decode json decode it's not decoder it's json decode so now we have to provide our access token in here and there should be no errors so the fields which we require is the first name so these two fields i will get in here and then i will go and set state set state and using this well, i have to first create a variable for these two now by clicking off this login button we should be able to have our facebook profile and first name into the fields that we have specified in here of course we have to define in here image not equals to null okay now by pressing the of this login button we should be able to login into our facebook which is in here so previously i was logged in that's why i just popped to continue in here i have to provide access token dot token i forget that now if i restart the application and so you can see by printing this profile in here we have some information in here like by using this first name we can access our first name by using picture then data and then url we can access our image i can provide data then url so this is how i will retrieve my picture and the first name i don't know why it's not working Now if I save this and restart my application once again, oh, I got my first name up out there. So there was no problem with first name, only the picture was the problem. If I log in again and continue with my Facebook in here, I should be able to have my profile picture and the first name in there. So I have my first name and profile picture and it seems it's working very fine. So i will link on how the graph api for facebook works you can go ahead and play with that by yourself this is the link how the graph api works you can see the documentation here uh, your app id since right now we are using we are logged in with our facebook that's why we are using me and this is the version for the graph api which i will again leave a link where you can get the latest version for now it's uh, version 9 you, we can use uh, version 9 instead of 2.1 out there and also go to your application play with these permissions out here give permissions according to your wish and according to your need and uh, this is how we can implement the facebook login and retrieve some basic information from our facebook so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you in the next video